Engine room, no trespassing. You say so. Hmm. We got rooms. I did not mean to sleep, but okay, whatever, dude. Doesn't really matter. Zen, I think he's trying to punch that locker. Good lord, man, what's going on here? Estelle, good to see you. What brings you here? I could ask the same thing of you, Zen. Ah, I know, trying to catch a nap or something. Huh, <laughs> probably wouldn't be a bad idea, but no. I thought I'd get a little practice. I cannot seem to stay calm, sitting in a confined space like, like this ship. You're in the middle of one of your walks, I guess. Correct. Yeah, I can never manage to sit still myself. Sitting still sucks. But practice, huh? Isn't this a little cramped for practice? Practice isn't all about movement, remember? There's still plenty you can do, even in a small space such as this. Huh? Like what? Breathing exercises and meditation, for one. But practicing your forms is an important part of training as well. Especially for bracers like us who tend to get a little sloppy and let our styles fall apart from so much live combat. Live combat, even. It's important from time to time to find a chance to return to the basics and correct yourself. Correct yourself before you wreck yourself. Oh, oh, oh yeah! You know what I'm talking about. That's, um, a good point. I haven't actually done any discipline practice for a while now. Hearing you put it that way makes me worry. I'm like an awful mess in a fight for now. Oh man. <laughs> it's nothing to worry about. I was speaking generally. Still, if it's resonated with you, then there's nothing lost by finding a chance to recenter yourself. Indeed. My offer still stands to be a practice partner. Huh, <laughs> well, thanks then. I may just take you up on that. I'll be looking forward to it. I'm going to continue my kata for a while. I want to be warmed up when, when, when that monster can appears. You do that. Bum, 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 bum. Peyton! Hello, Estelle. It's been quite a while. Er, you're, uh... Oh no, did you forget me? It's Peyton, the mechanic. I was with you during one of your plans against Colonel Richard. You remember that one, right? S Sorry, a lot's happened since then. I remember you now, though. You're the one who got us the Intelligence Division airship, right? 
Huh, yep. Glad I could be of help. And glad you didn't completely forget about me. <laughs> Still, I'd heard there were bracers aboard. And the thought crossed my mind that it might be you guys, but I didn't think I'd be right on the money. Small world, huh? We didn't think the Arsade'd be here, either. Seems like the Royal Army's pulling out everything for this mission. Seems so. Yes, I'd heard this is the largest Liberlin military mobilization since the Hundred Days' War. And they tell me our target's a legendary ancient dragon. What better way to test the new engine, though, right? You sure seem confident. Well, hey, in a way, all of our tuning of that thing was in preparation for this day. That preparation H you've been up to. The designers from the Central Factory are here today, too, to collect data. Data! It's finally time for the RSA to make her grand entrance. I want her to fly like nothing's flown before. They tell me our target's a legendary ancient monster can. A better way to test the new engine though, right? There you go. There you go, man. I'm sure the RSA will wow everyone with its capabilities. I'm sure it will. When the second coup attempt happened, we we brought out all these orbital driven howitzers. Howitzers even. They were all busted during the fight, but we got them repaired quickly enough. That's nice. We'd have trouble managing ground combat without these. I imagine so. The door is tightly closed. Close that door! Okay. Those that know, know. What was in here? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. 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 Oh. Dorothy's out here taking pictures. Imagine such a thing. Yoo-hoo, Estelle! Hi, Dorothy. You seem to be doing okay. Is your camera still treating you good? You bet. This girl's so cute, she looks great from any angle. <laughs> and by this girl you mean... the Arce. Oh, Dorothy, you're as you as ever. Heh, <laughs> you too, Estelle. You're just as full of energy as always. Huh. <laughs> well, thanks. Er, wait. Were you worried about me? Yeah, of course. I mean, I... well, I took the photo of Joshua, right? If that made you all sad, I'd have to be sad, too. Oh, Dorothy, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. I'm a reporter, so it's my job to try and cheer people up. Um, sort of. If you're worried about anything else, talk to me anytime. <laughs> I'll, um, keep that in mind. I'm just gonna be taking pictures of this beauty until the monster can shows up. And then I'm gonna pretend to get interior shots while getting pics of the lady captain instead. Good plan. <laughs> Yo, Estelle. Killing time till the monster can shows up. More or less. How about you? Putting stuff together for your latest scoop. Scoop, even. And not really. I'm waiting for the star of the show, same as you. Man of the hour. Even if it doesn't show up, at least we got a few nice shots of the RSA. I mean, that's something, I suppose. We're just lucky enough to even be here. Huh. <laughs> you must be having a field day. 
you get to cover the fight with the dragon and the new cutting edge ship all in one go. Pretty much. Hell, the monster can versus airships thing alone would make it the story of the decade. Every single reporter at the office raising their hand when we were taking volunteers to cover this. I imagine so. Hmm, that figures. Congrats on getting picked for the job. Did you guys draw straws or something? Draw? No, of course not. I got picked because I'm a damn good reporter. Recognize. All that effort during the coup is starting to pay off. Well, hey, more power to you. So even the Royal Army respects you now, huh? Hey, if you write good stuff, even the big guys will come knocking on your door. By the way, if anything's interesting comes your way lately, I'm free to swap a few stories anytime you want. We can always use a few good editorials to fill our pages. You know, it's a lot better than than, than those fluff pieces. Huh. <laughs> um, we'll see. Speaking of Estelle, you close it all to Captain Shores. I wouldn't exactly call us close. I guess we've known each other for a while now, though. Don't suppose you could introduce me. We've been getting counted by readers for a special edition featuring the female captain of the Royal Guard. J Julia's kinda... popular, then. Oh, totally. I'd say she's about as popular as Her Highness Claudia. I even heard some publishers are itching to put a whole photo album of her on the shelves. Oh boy. F photo album? It's just a rumor floating around. Even if they wanted to, there's no way they'd get permission. And I sure don't want to be the guy who's caught taking candid photos of her. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's true. I'd kind of like to see this album, though. <laughs> Try to ask Captain Shores for that interview at some point for me, yeah? The Royal Guard doesn't interact with the people much, so everyone's got plenty of questions about it. You nice to get the chance to report on who she really is. Good times. Hello, Bracers. Welcome aboard. Just above here is the bridge. And just below us is the conference room. The RSA is a pretty large ship. People tend to get lost at first when they're assigned to her. Pretty much. Meh, back deck. Shira. So this is where you were. Hi there, Estelle. Taking a walk. Always gotta be taking a walk. Yep. Enjoying the wind. Yes, the weather's lovely, so I'm taking it easy. Take it easy! Knowing when to take a breather is part of our job, too, you know. Short breaks like these are good for keeping our minds sharp. Now's the perfect time. Yeah, I know. Hey, Shira. Do you think the plan will work? To be honest, I don't know. Common sense says there's a very good chance it'll succeed. We have 12 patrol ships out on patrol as we speak, after all. Hard to imagine even something as powerful as a monster can getting away from all that. Yeah, I guess you're right. General Morgan was pretty confident, too. That's just how he looks on the surface. Uh-huh. 
remember, he was none too happy to have bracers on board. Not kidding. And yet, he, he let us on anyway. That could only mean one thing. He's worried about how this will turn out too. Exactly. And that, Estelle, is why conserving our strength right now is a good idea. Huh. <laughs> Makes sense. Guess I'll keep wandering around a bit. Good. That's what I like to hear. Not every day you get to ride the Arce. Enjoy yourself. True enough. See ya, Shara. See ya soon, Estelle. The fact that we're on board proves General Morgan is uneasy. We need to be ready to act at a moment's notice. But until then, I'm gonna take it easy! Bum, bum, bum. The bridge! Uh, Echo. You guys are here to observe the operation, right? Well, I, I've just got one thing to say to you. Don't get in our way. Okay. Lux. Lux from Seven Saga and Mystic Arc. Oh yeah, you're those bracers, right? I'm Lux, the Arce's helmsman. I'm in charge of piloting the ship. Sorry, but it looks like you guys aren't going to get a chance to show off. Uh-oh. A monster can, please. Even a monster can is nothing compared to the RSA. You guys just sit back and enjoy the show. Leon! Ah, hello. You're the observers, right? Maybe. I'm Leon, the RSA's communications officer. I run the switchboard and radio here. Rob won't be a very long acquaintance, but it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Do, 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 do. Estelle, hello. Are you finding... Are you finding it a little hard to calm down? Just a little bit. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, a bit. Really can't stay still for this one. That reminds me, you, um, always walk around like this on the passenger ships as well. <laughs> yeah, now that you mention it, I do. I don't know, I feel all kind of suffocated and trapped when I just have to sit around politely. That's very like you, Estelle. But, uh, I wouldn't worry about that too much on the Arce. Huh? What do you mean? Property of the Auslis family, it may be, but this is still a fully functional war cruiser. At full speed, its engine capabilities far exceed those of passenger vessels. If we go at flank speed, I don't think you'd even be able to remain standing. <laughs> Is it seriously that fast with the new engine? Huh. <laughs> You'll be surprised, I think. It's a bit like walking into a storm. Storm damage everywhere, apparently. I, uh... I see. So that kind of makes all this the calm before the storm, then. Yes, after a fashion. This may be a very brief period of peace before the action begins. Probably. If you want to look around the interior, this may be your only chance. I better keep that in mind, then. 
guess I better start wandering around faster, huh? Yes, I'll see you later. As you said, Estelle, this is the calm before the storm. Alright. Miss Bright, good day. How do you find the RSA? It's really, really cool. I guess I shouldn't be surprised the Queen ship is awesome, but still. Thank you for your kindness, Miss Bright. I'm simply relieved the new engine made it in time. Of course, I hardly expected to use it on a mission of quite this nature. I hear that. Who'd imagine a, a monster can would show up? Yes, it is an utter mystery as a foe, even to us. We may have a plan of attack, but it would be foolish to rely completely on it in the face of the unknown. Be prepared for anything in case something goes amiss. Indeed. You never know, dude. If anything happens, it... It'll be up to us, huh? Hopefully it will not come to that. But only Adios knows what lies before us. Oh, by the way, Julia... Did you know that Niall, uh... Mr. Niall Burns wants to cover you for an article? An article? About me? Yeah, he wants the citizens to know the real Royal Guard, he says. He's pretty serious about his job, so I think you can trust him, you know? I am well aware of Mr. Burns' professional credentials. Excellent. If not, I would not have allowed him to accompany us and cover this story. Oh yeah, good point. To be honest, I absolutely support the idea behind such an article. However, I am afraid I must decline. Huh? Even if you support it? We have refused similar proposals from other companies as well, you see. We cannot give the liberal news any special treatment. Ah, oh, I guess not. Forgive me, but please tell him as much. I still look forward to seeing the article, however. Okay, then. Unfortunately, it would be difficult for us to agree to the liberal news request. While I like the idea of the article, we have to be fair to everyone. Indeed. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Signal from the Melder. Monster cannon flight in airspace above the Malga mine. All crew to battle stations. All crew to battle stations. Guild observers, report to the bridge. Here we go. Bum, bum, bum. Shoot him! He's trying to offer us alcohol again. Hey, doing? What's happening? The dragon is above the Malga mine. Look at the display. Oh, that's cute. Malga. So it's in Roland. I'm amazed we found it.
Where shall we intercept it, sir? A good question. We need to lure it to the lake, but we cannot afford to let it near the capital. Our interception point will be near the Lenhart River estuary. Oh. Patrol ships. Lure the monster can to the riverside. Attack ships. Forward. Aye, sir. This is the RSA to all ships. Our interception point will be the Lenhart River Estuary. All patrol ships, lead the monster can to the interception point. Use Formation B. You know, because it's so much better than Formation A. Attack ships, launch and proceed to the interception point. To think he would actually fall into their hands. Perhaps I need to settle this myself. Uh oh. Did you seem to know something? No. If I act, it'll simply be the same thing all over again. Oh yeah? Huh. He and I are in the same position, I suppose. Great Adios, who art in the sky? Please, guide us guide us who stand upon this chaotic earth. All attack ships have launched. Estimate their arrival at 1220 hours. Hmm. Full speed ahead. Put us southwest of the interception point. Aye, sir. Restore orbital power flow to all sections. Ahead, full... Helm, take us to the southwest of the Lenhart River Estuary. Bum, 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 bum. All attack ships have arrived at their designated positions. Tranquilizer rounds loaded and ready. Alright, all that's left is to wait for the monster can to show up. All attack ships, prepare to fire. Begin attack on my command. Aye, sir. Here we go! And it begins. It begins again. Shoot him! He's trying to offer liberal alcohol! You know we're not putting up with that nonsense. All ships, fire!
we won a battle, apparently. <laughs> ha! I think we got it. Absolutely incredible. Ha! Not even a monster can could stand up against this. I don't know about all that, but you never know. My goodness, such spectacle! What a performance! Confirming splashdown of Monster Can into Lake Valeria. Shall we proceed as planned and bind it, sir? Proceed. As soon as you've confirmed it's safe, bring the Arce down. We'll perform a water landing and inspect the Monster Can ourselves. Hi, sir. Ba -ba 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 -ba. It landed in the water, apparently. Water landing complete. No response from the monster can. Right then, time to see this with my own eyes. Captain, accompany me. Sir. Um, can we... Yes. You... You should come, too. I... I think someone's throwing a tomato at a wizard's computer. This is an ancient monster can of legend. Not exactly something you'll get to see every day. Yeah. Why don't you go check on the monster can? Confirming a victory is an important duty for any soldier. Or would you rather be shot at the back by an enemy you thought was defeated? Phew! We managed to take it down. That was some piloting, eh? And yep, that was all me. Please, hold your applause. Monster can's totally asleep. Even if it were to take to the skies again, it poses no danger. Let's go check it out then, shall we? Please hurry, everyone. The monster can splashed down in the water directly ahead of the ship. Oh hey, so this is the back of the ship. A, a legendary monster can. My heart's racing. Who are these taking pictures? Or she is. Oh wow! It's so big! That's what she said. He's so handsome too. It's a shame he's asleep. I hope he wakes up soon. I told you, girl, if he wakes up, we're in trouble. Still, hell of a creature. Do, 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 do. Wow. Hmm, incredible hardly does it justice. Estelle! Heh, <laughs> you guys came too, huh? Your Highness, it is dangerous out here. Please, I must ask you to return to the cabin. Cabin style. Heh, 
I'll be fine, General. Besides, seeing it up close, it truly is magnificent. Isn't it, though? Is it really asleep, though? We've confirmed a heartbeat, so it isn't dead. Even so, we pumped enough tranquilizers into it to stop an army of normal monsters. It'll be down for a while. Hopefully. Cool. That's good, then. Speaking of things being good, does anybody see that that Lionheart Lue, whoever guy around? Hmm. I doubt he could be hiding. Lu Wei held the gospel, which was the linchpin of this experiment. If he is not here, does that mean they have abandoned their quest? According to the patrol ships that chased the, the monster can in, there was never a rider visible. I'd say it's very likely he wasn't present to begin with. Hmm, not surprising. He probably learned of our plan and fled. Typical of this sort of criminal element. Hmm, I don't know. He doesn't seem like the kind of guy to just turn tail and run. That's like something Vegastar would do. I'll tell you what. Indeed. We shouldn't let our guard down just yet. Incidentally, where are you taking the monster can after this? For the moment, the plan is to tow it to Layston. After that, we'll need to discuss it with Her Majesty and Cassius first. I see. Huh? Dorothy? Did you find something? Hmm, maybe it's just my imagination, but... Is there a bump on his forehead? What? Bump style. She's right. There's this little bump. There's a slit on it, actually. Maybe it's like an eye or something. Uh-oh. Whoa! No! The gospel. It's here. Rut row. Eh. Hmm? It's a it's awake! That can't be good. It's breathing fire! Oh, not over yet. What? Damn you! You will not escape! Schwarz, get us in the air! Sir! Storm 1, even. Firing missiles! No good. Guided missiles can't get a lock. Damn it all. We can see the heat signature right there, too. It must be jamming our missiles somehow. Missile jammer, even. Alright then. Give it a taste of the main guns. The target is increasing speed. 2300 selge per hour. 2400. 2,500. 2,600. Eh, what a monster. None of the patrol ships will be able to pursue it. The Arsay's engines can keep up with that. All hands. We will now accelerate to flank combat speed. 3,200 SPH. All hands, brace for G4 shock. What does that mean? 
The massive acceleration and thrust will feel like it makes us heavier. Crouch down and brace yourself. Okay. Flank speed. Engage. Do not let it escape. Aye, ma'am. Escape style. Wah! Like that time Vegas start escaped from playing L.A. to go! It went into the clouds, or something like that, anyway. Monster can is descending. At this rate, we'll lose visual. Keep going. Do not lose it. How can we still be in a cloud? Wait, where is this? What are you... The Nebel Valley? Could we already be in the mist? Hmm. Monster Can has descended to 1200 Arch. 1100. 1000. 900. Monster Can lost, ma'am. Julia. So we lost sight of it? We did. The northwestern part of the Neville Valley. The place where the fog is the deepest. The fog is back! Can we dock the Arce in that old fort? No. The Arce is too large. I see. The operation is over, then. All, op all operation ships are to patrol the Neville Valley region. The RSA will be turned to bows. The operation... failed, sort of. The monster can has fled to the northwestern corner of Neville Valley. It's the part of the valley that's hardest to traverse, and it's covered in deep fog, being further in than the Panda Base was. In other words, scouting by airship will be difficult. Hmm, difficult at best. There's really no option but to dispatch an expedition on foot. Oh, you know that's where we come in. <laughs> but wait a second. If you send in a whole army, the monster can will just run away. She has a point. I think it would be better to try and strike at him with a smaller group while he's still vulnerable. Meaning you'd like for us to leave it to you. Well, we are more used to investigating something on difficult terrain than most of your troops. I would say we're the right people for the job. Indeed. Hmm. Do you have any idea of how you would investigate this? As I recall, there is no real road into that section of the valley. Simply wandering over and praying to Adios that you'll find something could take days at a minimum. Er, well... Leave that to me. It's Agate and Tita! Oh, Agate, Tita. Yo, sorry to butt in. Um, pardon us. What are you doing here? And more importantly, are you sure you should be up and about? Like I told Tita, this is nothing. Just a bunch of scratches. 
Tita? Is he serious? Estelle Stare. Tita. Estelle Stare. Um, yeah. I don't think Agate's really pushing himself. I see. Well, okay then, I guess. <laughs> you have plenty of energy, if nothing else. You said leave it to me, but do you even know what we're talking about? Yeah, Lugrin filled me in on the details. That overgrown lizard disappeared into the northwest of Nebel Valley, right? Yeah, but what can you... I know a man who knows a lot about the area. You know, the dude in the cabin. If we ask him, we sh we should be able to find a way to get into that corner of the valley. Oh? Who is this guy, exactly? A tough old-timer by the name of Wemler. He lives on the eastern side of the valley. You know the one. He bragged to me once that he got across the ravine that divides that part of the valley from the rest. Oh, right, right. That old man living in that little hut. Heh, <laughs> impressive. Your constant hunt for information has borne fruit, you might say. <sighs> Even if you find the monster can, what do you intend to do? Is it not what I would call a trivial foe? Do you intend to slay it yourselves? There's a gospel on the thing's head, right? Job one is to deal with that. Hmm? It does follow that the reason the monster can has grown violent is due to that gospel. The gospels have been responsible for all sorts of bizarre phenomena before now, after all. And if we nullify the gospel, perhaps we can put an end to the Monster Can's rampage. Sounds like a good plan to me. When you say you'll break the gospel, you remind me of what Father Graham did. He hit the gospel with an artifact and shorted it out, but we do not exactly have a surfeit of artifacts. That's too bad. Yeah, we don't have time to fiddle with stuff like that. We're just gonna smash that thing to bits, frame and all. What? Whoa, hang on a sec. Can we really break a gospel that easily? Well, whenever I handled one, it always seemed like it was really sturdy. Let's just say we've got a solution to that little problem. Take a look. Hmm. Your sword! There's something fitted into the... Oh, now I see. He got a new sword. Russell tossed me a new gizmo of his in the mail. It's a little something for breaking gospels. Oh. For real? Hmm. How is it meant to work exactly? Oh, I'll explain. The unit on the hill applies high-frequency vibrations to the blade that'll help it break a gospel's frame. Because of the vibration, the motor will break after a few hits. But Grandpa is sure that if you hit a gospel cleanly with a vibrating blade, the gospel will break. I, uh, don't think I quite get it all, but it sounds incredible. <laughs> the world's greatest living genius comes through once again. I got Tita to attach it when it arrived, and it seems like it works. All that's left now is to find the monster can, and give him a good one on the forehead. So, Mr. General, how's that sound for a plan? <sighs> if Russell's giving you a fighting chance, I suppose I have no choice but to, but to agree. So then... You'll let us take a crack at it. Yes, do everything you can. However, I will have airships around the valley on standby. They will be able to respond if, or when, the monster can slips past you. Heh, <laughs> sounds like a challenge. You, you just tell them they won't need much ammo. Ah-ha-ha! 
The RSA will, will patrol in Bo's airspace while you search. Once you've discovered the, the Monster Can's location, please contact us. Roger. Leave it to us. There's no Roger! I'll have C carry a message once we find it. If I'm not with them, I'll ask him to stay near Estelle. Scree! Your Highness, if you do accompany them, please take the greatest care. Estelle Bright, Agate Crossner. Huh? What? If the monster can escapes the valley, the army will move to contain it with everything we have. We will not allow the people of the borough to come to harm again. So, do everything you can. Don't worry about protecting others. Focus on your mission, and leave the rest to us. General. So basically, I got your back. Never thought I'd hear that from you, General. What brought that out? Nothing but politeness, Mr. Crossner. Captain, get us in the air. Sir. Please form your party. You may choose one other member aside from the mandatory members. So you basically have to have uh, Agate and Tita. So that's fun. Right. Right. Okay, so we're going to see Wemler in Nebel Valley, right? Yeah. More importantly, though. Are you really tagging along, Tita? <laughs> of course! If the vibration unit breaks, I can fix it right then and there. I think my cannon can lend a hand against any flying monsters, too. <sighs> Fine, whatever. Just don't slow us down, short stuff. No problem. Estelle? What is it? What's with the look? Oh, nothing. Much. How do I put it? I was just thinking that you two seem a lot closer now. <laughs> I'm guessing Tita finally won Agate over. What? The hell are you going on about? <laughs> look at that blush. But seriously, it looks like you've got your feelings all sorted out, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I do. I ain't gonna run off alone and get wrecked like a chump anymore. If I do, I'm gonna have a certain little someone guilt-tripping me with her pouty face again. Aw, Agate! <laughs> I see, I see. Okay then, let's hurry to Neville Valley. Yeah! Let's move out. But first, on, but first I'll be right back before we get to that. <laughs> 